Right now, promising news as it looks like Arizona is flattening the Thanksgiving curve of COVID. Deal or no deal? What President Trump plans to do with the stimulus deal worth $600 to Americans and porch pirates targeting your home? How to protect yourself this gift giving season. 12 at 12 starts right now. 12 minutes, no commercials. We're on TV, on the go, on the 12 News app, on the website, and on YouTube. Hi, everybody. I'm Mitch Carr. Tram Mai has today off. As we inch toward Christmas, Arizona continues to battle a second wave of coronavirus. But in the last months of 2020, there are signs that transmission of the disease is slowing. Check out this seven day average using data from the Department of Health Services. Even with a slight uptick after the latest report, cases are at least flattening since the dramatic rise at the beginning of November. Arizona also registered its third straight day where the transmission rate was below the 1.1 mark. That's a first since before November's second wave began. Anything over one means there is exponential spread, so this is promising news. Today, the Moderna vaccine is officially in the valley. The Maricopa County Department of Public Health announced that it received the first shipment of the Moderna vaccine. About 18,000 doses arrived yesterday. These will be used to supplement the county's supply of the Pfizer vaccine and will go first to online health care workers, first to frontline health care workers, rather. It will also be used at long-term care facilities. In your money headlines today, President Trump says no deal. He will not sign the latest coronavirus relief bill over some major issues. And one is that billions of dollars are going to foreign countries instead of to the American people. Congress found plenty of money for foreign countries, lobbyists, and special interests while sending the bare minimum to the American people. The president went on to suggest the $600 stimulus checks should be closer to $2,000 for those making under $75,000 a year. And as expected, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi rather, had something to say. She blamed Republicans, saying they repeatedly refused to say what amount the president wanted for direct checks. She then agreed to the president's suggestion for $2,000 stimulus checks and said Democrats will bring that to the House floor this week and pass it by unanimous consent. The pandemic has weighed heavily on families who are out of work, and many Arizonans are still trying to stay on their feet as more companies furlough employees. Many businesses were forced to shut down, leaving workers wondering what's next. Team 12's Matt Uris joins us at the state capitol. And Matt, what is the governor planning to do now? The short answer is the governor is directing 40 million in federal funds for Arizona families to get or keep roofs over their heads as this pandemic continues. Let's go ahead and break it all down and see where the dollars are going. 24 million of those funds will go to the Arizona Department of Housing and will provide emergency payments for rent, utility, food and clothing for families and individuals for six months. It will also fund buying and upgrading existing shelters and other public services. The other 16 or so million will primarily go toward homeless services, including rehousing families. In regards to this assistance, Governor Ducey said, quote, we want to make sure Arizonans have access to resources that will help keep them safe and healthy, especially as we enter the new year. This extra help just so vital right now as many Arizonans remain out of work because of the pandemic. Also looking to increase the stimulus package, the relief money in there for families and extend the federal moratorium on evictions. But of course, that's not quite yet a done deal. Stay with 12 News as this story continues to unfold. In Phoenix, Matt Uris, 12 News. Thank you, Matt. Keeping you safe all this week, thousands of packages are being shipped and delivered just in time for Christmas. But this is also the time for porch pirates looking to take advantage of packages left on your doorstep. Team 12's Michael Doudna spoke with one resident dealing with the thieves firsthand and what experts say are your best bets to protect yourself. He just bent over, picked up the package and scurried away uh, like a scared little criminal he is. The broad daylight theft caught right on camera. A package Joe Durkin wasn't expecting taken right off his front porch. There aren't words to describe how frustrating it is. Frustration that's all too common. Some estimates say that more than a third of Americans have been victims, even leading to a trend of booby trapped packages that become glitter bombs as a way to get back at these thieves. Of course, you don't need a glitter bomb to try and protect these packages. In fact, experts say your best bet is likely a good doorbell camera or good neighbors. Make sure these don't run off. While it's happening, yes, it's hard to stop. Lieutenant Jason Kaufman with Prescott Valley PD says that these crimes are ones of opportunity. And with billions of packages being shipped this holiday season, 
There are a lot of opportunities, but without video or eyewitnesses, these crimes can be tough to solve. Because some, sometimes there's no leads, there's nothing to follow up on, and at that, that point, it becomes an insurance claim. So to protect yourself, Lieutenant Kaufman says there are some simple steps. If you're not going to be home, get those packages delivered to your work or to a neighbor's house, and make sure you track your packages to make sure you know when they arrive and be on the lookout. You know, this is not person specific. It's not, uh, you know, economic uh, standing specific. This happens to everyone. Michael Doudna, 12 News. It's time to get a check of your holiday weather. Let's head over to Team 12's Jen Wall, who is in for Crystal today. Hey, Jen. Yeah, after a breezy and chilly start to the day, wind is going to continue statewide for us here. And temperatures in the valley will get up to the upper 60s. But first, I want to start off with an amazing photo. Thanks to one of our 12 News Weather Watchers, Gloria, for sending this in. This evening, keep your eyes out. Could be another beautiful sunset across much of Arizona as there will be off and on clouds throughout the day. Breezy conditions today in the high country. You can expect wind speeds around about 40 miles per hour at times in the valley around about 20 miles per hour this evening. Looking ahead, a dry holiday forecast with rain possible by early next week. And with your future cast for wind speeds into motion here, you can see around about 15 to 20 miles per hour between Sedona and Prescott. Throughout the day this evening, Flagstaff still up at about 20 miles per hour. And again, those gusts could get up to about 40 miles per hour in the high country. Wind still blowing slightly parts of Arizona tomorrow morning, but things will be a lot quieter. You can see Gila Bend is at about 16 miles per hour. Future cast into motion here. We do have off and on clouds throughout the day in the state. We are expecting to stay dry looking at midweek here in the Phoenix area and then tomorrow a few degrees cooler. So temperatures maybe about a degree or two below average in the valley, warming up close to 70 for Christmas Day and Saturday to kick off your weekend. And there's that slight chance for showers we were talking about. Monday evening is the first opportunity for that, continuing with another slight chance into Tuesday. Thank you, Jen. Talk about a great holiday gift. A stranger surprised a waitress with a massive tip, and it happened at a restaurant right here in the Valley. Team 12's Bianca Bono has the story. Shauna Smythe starting her shift at the Perfect Pair Bistro in Tempe. You wouldn't know it from her hard work ethic and bright personality, but this mother of three has been through a lot. In 2016, Shauna lost a child. I know other parents have gone through that, and you know, as a mom, that's like your worst nightmare. And like so many others in the restaurant industry, 2020 hasn't been easy. It's just been you know, such a hard year. It's stories like Shauna's that inspire Phoenix's Roger Webb. Everybody can give a little. Last year, Roger and his friends started a tradition, gifting a lucky server a big tip. This year, he knew he wanted to do it again, turning to friends and his large following on social media. Hey guys, I need your help. And literally a dollar here, a dollar there, $10 here. That's when a friend connected him to the owner of the perfect pair. She's like, absolutely, I've got the perfect person. So Roger and his friends went out to eat over the weekend. Shauna, their server, bringing them the check with no idea what was about to happen. Shauna fighting back tears as she was handed a $2,000 tip. <laughs> I would be willing to say it was probably as impactful for me as it was for her. Just to get out of ourselves and help someone else. My kids needed new shoes. They need no, new clothes. Like, you know, certain things that were on their Christmas list. I know when they look under the tree, they're going to be so happy. <laughs> While Shauna can't wait to see her kids' reaction on Christmas morning, she says the lesson of selflessness, giving, and hope that this experience will teach them is priceless. I'm just, like, so thankful, and I hope this story inspires somebody else. Thank you, Bianca. And Roger tells us he hopes to continue to use his platform to surprise more deserving strangers and not just around the holidays either. Let's take a look at some of the other stories that are buzzing this afternoon. Today is the last day to ship your packages through major carriers before Christmas. The U.S. Postal Service, UPS, and FedEx will all try to make deadlines using their overnight shipping options, but keep in mind that all are facing increased volume due to the pandemic, and UPS and FedEx are also prioritizing COVID vaccine shipments across the country. The recommended deadline for FedEx and the Postal Service, well, they've already passed. They were around 10 this morning, but you still have time with UPS, whose deadline is closer to 5 p.m. 
Cannabis sales ahead of Christmas and New Year's are expected to surge this year. That's according to enterprise software company Akerna. Pot sales will generate $400 million this week. Another $81 million will be sold next week. And now time to check out the juiciest stories of the day. Prepare the royal jet. We are going back to America. In the face, the Prince of Zamunda is back. Amazon Prime released the first official trailer for Coming to America, the sequel. It features not only Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall, but all their original cast members, including James Earl Jones. The sequel is about the search for a son that he never knew he had, played by Jermaine Fowler, who was born the same year that the original movie came out. The Coming to America sequel debuts on March 5th. If you are staying home for the holidays, there are some new movies coming out Christmas Day to keep you company. First, Pixar's Soul debuts exclusively on Disney+. Plus. It tells the story of a music teacher whose body and soul accidentally get separated. Also, Wonder Woman 1984 will debut in theaters and on HBO Max. And if an image could best sum up 2020, this handcrafted dumpster fire in one man's front yard might be it. He put it up so people could write down their frustrations with 2020, and every night they set it on fire. Many of the messages have colorful language we can all relate to but can't show on TV. He says the dumpster has led to some deep conversations with people. And that is your 12 at 12, the facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes. No commercials. We're always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com. We're also on the 12 News app and on our social media as well. And we'll see you again real soon.